uh, urban forestry uh, in Bhutan, you know, it's uh, almost a new concept. Uh, I think uh, people or the policymakers realize the importance uh, when our green areas started to be replaced by, you know, gray areas. And uh, to start with, uh, uh, I think a lot of people do not know much about Bhutan. It's a small country nestled in the eastern Himalayas. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, it's a small country, I said, with an area of about, say, about 39,000 square kilometers, a population of less than a million. And uh, we have a, a constitutional monarchical system. And uh, our development process is not guided by GDP, but what is known as the gross national happiness. So we actively pursue this philosophy in our development plans. Uh, regarding forests, uh, at this point of time, uh, we have about 72% of our mm -hmm. country in the forest cover, and about nearly 20,000 square kilometers of protected area. The, the constitution of the Kingdom of Bhutan mandate that we have a minimum of 60% of forest cover at all times. Uh, and uh, uh, the country generates about 2.2 metric tons of carbon dioxide. And we sequester about 4 million tons of, you know, million <clears throat> tons of carbon dioxide each year. So we are not only carbon neutral, neutral, but we are carbon negative. Uh, uh, Thimbu is the capital of Bhutan, and uh, at this point of time, uh, through uh, UNF assistance and GF funding, we are you know, implementing a, an urban ecosystem-based adaptation project. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so uh, it's a small area, uh, 26,000 square kilometers, but the uh, population is growing rapidly. And along with the population, there's this, you know rapid uh, infrastructure growth. Uh, if you look at the pictures, uh, just in over 40 years, uh, we have transformed ourselves from a green area into a gray area, and uh, this is uh, quite worrying. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, we do have uh, a plan to guide our urban development, but. Uh, uh, I don't know what was the plan, you know, a structural plan, you know, uh, <clears throat> is no longer valid because the, you know, development is happening faster than what was envisaged in the structural plan. Uh, the, the mandate uh, for urban forestry lies with uh, Tipo Tromde. Uh, Tromde is the national name for the municipal body here. Uh, and uh, the environment division is responsible for managing uh, <clears throat> forestry and beautification activities. So they do have a division and they, do all, they also have a section which looks at parks and micro gardens, plantations and management, forestry and tree failing clearances. So, so the, as I the mandates are, you know, uh, this urban forestry and city, city beautification section is responsible for maintenance of trees and flowers within the municipal boundary, uh, carrying out landscaping works in public spaces, yeah, development and maintenance of micro parks and micro gardens, development and maintenance of all recreation and maintenance children's parks and nursery management to you know, uh, supply saplings. Uh, this uh, section is also responsible for issuing forest clearances and for monitoring uh, legal activities. Uh, this, this is background why there was a need felt to set up an urban forestry and, and beautification section. So uh, I think they started this quite late, uh, just 10 years ago. 
uh, and it is the first uh, section exclusively dealing with explicitly dealing with urban policy and beautification section and housed within the Timbu Municipal Corporation. Uh, so, so Timbu has developed so much in the last 40 years. Uh, and the, the reason why this was, this section created was to ensure that uh, infrastructure development activities harmonize with nature and to inculcate in people, in my residents, the value of services provided by urban forests. Mm -hmm. So I, ever since uh, its inception in 2011, the policy section in Timbu Municipal Corporations carried out uh, an initiative called My Tree Program in 2012 to inculcate a sense of ownership and love for trees and nature among the youth. Uh, you know, the section also carries out plantation of trees in degraded and trapped lands to increase green areas in the country. Uh, beautification landscaping of roundabouts and flower plant planters within the city. Uh, annual monitoring of the survival rate of trees planted within the city. And management of nursery for production of saplings. Uh, and uh, the section is also responsible for development and management of all the parks micro gardens. Uh, we had a flower exhibition in 2017 and uh, the section initiated the creation of that micro garden. And the section is also responsible for production and conservation of wetlands, and uh, you know, more monitoring uh, tree felling and issues of uh, you know, uh, forest clearances. So, pictorially, these are some of the activities like the, the section is also responsible for development of degraded, degraded stream buffers. Uh, and the pictures uh, you see some barren slopes uh, uh, which look uh, like. Yes, before you know, uh, <coughs> before we revegetated them, and uh, this is uh, what we did to the slopes, uh, created footpaths, planted trees. But uh, well, what are the challenges? Uh, as I said earlier, it's a new concept. It's a new concept. Uh, urban forestry management plans are in the process of development. Uh, uh, we do not, at this point of time, have what you would call an urban forestry regulations. Uh, and because of this rapid urbanization, we are losing a lot of trees. And uh, we are also feeling the impact of climate change uh, because uh, the urban heat island effects uh, were not heard of uh, some years ago. And uh, incidences of forest fires are also increasing, especially during the winter months. Just one more minute. And, uh, Thank you. Well, we also lack expertise. Uh, with regard to, as I said earlier, we don't have regulations. Uh, so we have to have regulations for urban forestry. And uh, since uh, it's a small section. Uh, there are a few people working in this section. Uh, and uh, uh, since this is a new concept, uh, there's lack of awareness uh, among the residents uh, of this urban center called Timpu. So, uh, and a lot of work needs to be done actually to bring the, the benefits of urban forestry in the forefront. So with this uh, introductory presentation, uh, I should uh, I must say thank you for giving me this opportunity.